If you're a roller coaster lover like I am, nothing is going to be more exciting than the chance to go zip lining. This is one of the coolest activities that you'll find in Costa Rica, and many countries have the same activity. It's a lot of fun. You're going to find yourself up in the air, riding down through the mountains across cables, zipping through the forest, and it's just an excellent time to get some pictures. Of course, just about every piece of normal photo gear you own will not be allowed on the trip. You see, you bring a big camera like this, it's gonna flop around, it's gonna get in the way, it could hit you, it could fall off, let alone, you know, of course there's the loss of the gear, but think about possibly injuring yourself or others. This is a lot of weight, and the tour operators are not gonna let you take that size camera on the trip. What you're gonna need is an action or a sports camera. And the leader here is clearly GoPro, but there's tons of brands out there. And so I'm gonna take several different types of sports cameras out to go zip lining. One of the ones here is a simple GoPro, and this is actually sort of a diving mount, but it's designed to go on your wrist. I could take that, slip my wrist in, and have a camera right there. And that's gonna give me some flexibility. So when we ride the zip line, there's an opportunity to actually hold the rope, and this is well suited. So depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed, they'll have you put your strong hand behind you, but this is gonna make it really easy to get some great shots as you're zipping down. Now, you might want some other options, and these certainly exist. This case is waterproof, highly recommend that. This case is also waterproof, and it's on a chest strap. So this is gonna allow me to actually attach this camera and wear it. Now, this will go over the shoulders and across the center of the chest, and depending upon how you're positioned, you can actually adjust this. It will articulate and bend up or down, giving you that flexibility to get the right angle. Now, these, you might even see here, steam up. They do make a series of little inserts that you could put inside the GoPro case to absorb some of that moisture. You still, though, if that's not enough, might wanna take a lens cloth with you so you can wipe that out, both on the outside and the inside, because one of the things I've learned about rainforest is they typically attract rain. On both times that we went zip lining on this trip, it rained. Not a little bit of rain, a lot of rain. And that's gonna give you some of that flexibility. Now, depending upon what you're trying to do and how much hiking you're gonna be doing, sometimes an umbrella comes in handy. I found myself picking up an ultra lightweight, lies flat portable umbrella for this trip because it allowed me to pop it up. You're not gonna use this while going down on a zip line, but while waiting in between shots or if you're shooting video of some of your friends, this is gonna let you keep the lens dry and keep rain from hitting the front of the camera. Now, the last thing you're gonna want when you're out there is to not get the shot. And because of that, I recommend bringing spare memory cards and spare batteries. When you are out on the top of a mountain, you will run out of juice. Sure, you could turn the camera off in between takes and it will last longer, but make sure that you have some spare cards and spare things to record to. One last camera that we'll look at a little bit more later, this is the WG3 from Pentax, and while it's a lot like the GoPros, it has a couple of special features that I like. It's not as mountable as some of the GoPro cameras are. It does have a carabiner, so we can attach that while we're riding but it has a high speed mode that's super cool. And this allows us to record at really high frame rates and then slow it down. It also has some great easy to use options for underwater photography, which we'll explore a little bit later. But you see the DSLRs, the Micro Four Thirds, they're gone. For a couple hundred bucks, you could pick up a GoPro camera and some of the mounting equipment. And in fact, some of the places you go to may even have mounts. For example, you could take your camera and actually just you know move it from case to case or this pops right out, not easily, mind you, it's not supposed to, but with this clip here, you can actually attach it to things like helmets or other mounting points on gear. So this is gonna give you a lot of flexibility to get those incredible point of view shots so you can tell your story. Of course, one more thing to point out, just about every place you go for zip lining is gonna have its own photographer. I'll say two things. One, be respectful. You yourself understand the value of photography, let them take your picture and purchase those photos, use those photos, buy those photos, support the photo industry. Secondly, when you're zip lining, there's gonna be a lot of things distracting you and you're not gonna get all the shots that you want. Plus, how are you gonna get your own picture? You're not gonna be going down a zip line and taking a self portrait. It's just not gonna work. So let somebody else do some shooting for you and capture some great memories as you're zipping down the side of a mountain at 60 miles an hour.